What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get this video started, I want to let you know that we are a bilingual and international channel and we will be posting one tool review video a month and one video in Spanish each month. The rest will be their regular content in English. Today I want to review my recent purchase that is this Ryobi free drawer toolbox and I'm gonna give you the pros and cons on buying this toolbox first of all I bought this three drawer toolbox because it's supposed to be compatible with the Ryobi link system or at least the first gen but when I got this I didn't notice one thing that the box is smaller than the first gen and for me that is a big disappointment because now Ryobi is making a second generation of Ryobi Lynx tools that only matches the size and features that this toolbox have let me show you what I mean as you can see here the top of the box it seems just like the first gen but it is slightly smaller than the first gen another thing that I didn't like about this box is the fact that it doesn't have any side handles it has this security locking bar for so called safety the real truth is that the metal bar holding the drawers it's linked to a plastic pin and a plastic lock on the bottom that you could easily break off with a screwdriver it doesn't have any metal backing plates or something stronger than a plastic pin on the sides this box has some tiny grips if you could call that a grip to move the box around but when the box is full it's way heavier and hard to move around another thing that I don't like about this box it's the fact that this toolbox it's not compatible with the Ryobi link rail system so you can't hang this toolbox on the wall and it's almost impossible to move around with tools in it another thing that I don't like about this toolbox it's the plastic dividers they are way too flimsy and you can't use the first generation dividers or toolboxes that came with the first gen and if you want to take all the horizontal dividers you could only attach the vertical ones because there's no way to get a horizontal divider so if you have a large tool like a torque wrench you have to take all the dividers to make this fit what I do like about this toolbox it's the rail system the drawers don't get stuck they could hold up the tools in place but when you close the drawer it doesn't lock very well and if you lean the toolbox the drawers could get open as you can see here the dividers are real flimsy and they feel real cheap I don't know if they will break on the long run maybe not but if you're planning to use this toolbox on the road I'm pretty sure it won't last luckily for me I bought this toolbox to get all my tools in place inside my house and I won't be moving this toolbox around too much I got this toolbox on special and I only pay $99.99 
plus tax but this toolbox is on a regular price of $139.99 that for my opinion it's not worth it I would buy this toolbox for $79.99 or $69.99 but $139.99 it's way too much for what this toolbox could give you I don't know what you think leave us in the comments what you think about this price and this toolbox and let me show you one more thing that I didn't like about this toolbox the fact of the locking bar if it doesn't have a lock you could open the drawer and almost break the thing because it's held on by a plastic pin and not a real strong one as you can see here I have most of my tools that I had on a tool bag and now I could find my tools way easier than in a bag but again for that price it's way too much and one other thing if you don't lock the locking bar on place all the way back the bar drags into the first drawer and if you have the plastic dividers it also drags and catches on with the plastic dividers and you could break them down also this toolbox came in damaged or defective from Home Depot when I first got it I thought it has a little bit of dirt on it but it was fine but when I got to my house and try to set this up on top of another Ryobi box it doesn't latch for itself and the bottom of the box it's all scratched so I guess they have this box on display and most people couldn't latch the box to another box and I got the defective one these are the small box that came with the first generation and as you can see here it doesn't fit so they advertise that this toolbox is compatible with the first generation of Ryobi Lynx toolboxes and the only feature that it's compatible is the fact that this toolbox latches on to the first gen and the first gen could lock on to the top of this toolbox but that's it this is what I've been telling you about the bottom being all scratched and the toolbox it's not latching I just got this a couple of days ago and this toolbox shouldn't be in this condition as you can see here you could fit this box on top of the first gen but it doesn't match the size of the first gen so if you want your tools to mismatch and you don't care about the size difference you could get this toolbox but if you are like me that has OCD and you want your tools to match and fit right I'm not sure if you should get one I will be returning this toolbox on Monday to Home Depot to get a replacement I am willing to keep this box but to tell you the truth I'm not 100% happy with this purchase what I do like about this toolbox it's the fact that I don't have to be taking off the top box in order to get my tools from the second or third box but what I don't like about this toolbox is the fact that it doesn't have any side handles so when the toolbox is full it will be harder to reach onto the bottom toolbox so I'm not sure if I I'm gonna find another place to put this box without being linked to the other ones because it will be a nightmare to take off in order to reach the bottom toolbox and put them all back together again 
If you have been following this channel and some of my tool reviews, I want to remind you all that none of those tools are sponsored by anyone. And even though if I get sponsors in the future, I will be giving my honest opinion on the tools that I bought and where I bought them. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and leave us a comment on what you think about this toolbox. Would you buy this toolbox for $139? I would definitely buy another toolbox like this one, maybe the two drawer, but not at that price. I want to thank all the new subscribers to the channel and let you know that we will be posting one video each week. So turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of them. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.